Sam, thanks so much. As promised, our political panel joining us in the studio tonight to give us some insights uh, into this race being called right at the top of the hour. Joel, I'm going to start with you because mm -hmm. you know a lot about this. People yes. are wondering how in the world do they know one minute after the polls close? Yeah, when you have a big, uh, you know, when you have a big race like this in between uh, polling before the race, exit polls of voters in the race, you can make a very, very good guess. And in cases like this, where there is just no question about the outcome, they're comfortable calling it within one minute of the polls closing. Okay, I was so excited about that. My apologies, I forgot to introduce the panel. <laughs> city, Columbia City Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Define, strategist Joel Sawyer, and political science department uh, over at USC, Todd Shaw. Thank you all for being here. Now I wanna come to you. You endorsed Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she's not in play tonight, but when we talked earlier this week, you said that a driving reason for you was that you felt the party needs to do more than restore policies from the Obama administration. But what do you think this result says tonight? Well, I, I mean, I really expected this result. I mean, even before the Clavern endorsement, uh, Joe Biden and all, everything shows he has a long standing relationship with our, our state. So people like Joe Biden. But clearly, after the Clavern endorsement, we knew that he was going to win. Um, I think for um, Elizabeth Warren, it was more so making sure that she was here on the ground listening because this is a long race, goes into Super Tuesday and after that. Um, but I think what tonight's results show is that uh, people trust Joe Biden and they like him. Um, but I do think that moving forward, he's going to also have to show that it is more than restoring back to Obama administration. But what do you, Joe Biden, what is your vision for this country and how are you going to get us past, um, not just past Trump, but past um, where we were because we still got a lot of problems in this and country. And there's still a bitter pol political divide. Uh, Todd, what about the turnout numbers that we're seeing? People weren't sure. You know, we hear so much about that enthusiasm gap. What do you make about this preliminary indication that we could see some record-setting numbers? Well, it's very encouraging, Judy, for small d democracy, for citizens to get out and to exercise their right to vote. Um, it is interesting. We're really in a period since the mid 2000s per se of high turnout and in some ways we're we're not uh, uh we're, we're kind of taken back by this but we've seen some very uh high turnouts here in south carolina and across the nation uh in terms of these presidential and and midterm elections so if we're in a new period where people are, are more engaged in turning out in larger numbers joe do, who do you